Welcome viewers, today I show you how I tumble my stones from roughs like this into stones like this with a very fine, very glossy surface, a wet looking surface. It goes very fast with my tumbler and I show you the process how you make stones like this from stones like this or roughs like this. Okay, let's take a look. The first thing I do is clean up the stones with some fresh water. The advantage of this process is the stones are clean and already wet. We don't need a lot of water for the tumbling. Every stone has a thin film of water around it. We only had to add a little amount of water for the grinding process, so our stones are wet now. Okay, I start with a drip of oil. Here you see my tumbler. It is from a German manufacturer. It is a 15 pound tumbler. So it is because I got a lot of stones for tumbling. I just add two seedlings like this by myself because it avoids the splashing of water or dripping of water through this area down on the motor block. It helps that no dirt coming out of the machine. So I would put this ceiling under this washer. What I do is use a drop of oil, a little bit of oil here. What you see here is these standard electrical tape or friction tape to sealing up the tumbler so no dirt comes out or grinding dust water. Okay, we can load up the tumbler now. First put the stones in the tumbler. I use a coarse grid. It is 70 grit silicon carbide. This is very aggressive at the first few hours. The 70 grit disintegrates very fast. The grinding process is getting finer and finer and finer. And for the next step I use an 800 grit silicon carbide. At first I add a little bit of the silicon carbide on the wet stones. Made a first short test and take a look how the stones run. It's getting very loud now. What you see is we have to add a little bit more water so we get a faster movement of the stones. Now I add a little bit of water. I start the machine. You see, we got a better run now. Now we start the machine again and add some more silicon carbide. When your stone is looking like this, you've add enough silicon carbide and enough water. Stones have to run in this way. Don't let your stones run this way or in this way. Look that your stones running around. Look that you fill up your tumbler to this line here. 
so you get a very good run when you have not enough material in the big tumbler. It also works, but it needs a little bit more time. So take a look that your stones run like this. When you add too much water, the stones run in this way or this way. It's not good because the silicon carbide lays down on the bottom and the stones only run over it in this direction. There is no movement in the in the tumbler, so you have to look at your stones running these directions, like you see on the video. Okay. We let them run for about 12 hours, then I make a clean out. These 70 silicon carbide rounds up every edge. Your stones become a very good surface and it is very good to make a glossy and fine and wet looking polish. I close it now. We let them run for about 12 hours. Okay, let him run and we see us for the first control. Twelve hours later we check our stones and take a look what happened. Okay, we see a lot of dirt, grinding dust. Also, we see the stones have very fine and good rounded corners. They're smooth and round. What I'm doing now is clean the stones from the rubbing dust. The aggressive is not very aggressive now. After 12 hours of grinding, the Aggressive rounds up and get it smaller and smaller. So what I do is I use it again. I only clean the stones from the dirt or the grinding dust. Clean them with water. And when you clean the stones with water, the aggressive sinks to the ground and stay in the tumbler. So we can use this again. We can use it to make a finer surface, a smoother surface, before we later change to the 800 grit abrasive. Uh, I use again a uh, silicon carbide. Okay, let's clean the stones. Okay, all what I use is water. Stones looking like this, they have a smooth surface and everything is rounded up. That's why I use the 70 grit. And what you see here is the abrasive is very heavy, sinks to the ground, so we can use this again. I clean up uh, the stones a little bit and then I wash the abrasive to reuse it. I picked up some stones out of the tumbler. Wash it again, so I can check how many abrasive is in the tumbler and clean it up. Let's clean our abrasive. What you see here. This is the clean abrasive and the clean stones. We can use this abrasive, the silicon carbide again. I told you it is not very aggressive, so we get a finer 
and finer surface on our stones and after 12 hours we can use the 800 grit silicon carbide for finer grinding. Add the clean stones, mix it with a abrasive. This is the reason why I use a little bit more abrasive at the start because I reuse it after 12 hours after the cleanup. When you have everything cleaned up, we can start again. We check how the stones run in the tumbler, fix it on the motor block, drop of oil. Okay, fixed up and let's check how the stones run. Okay, let's add a little bit more water so the stones get a better run. Okay, you see the stones got a very good movement. We close the tumbler for another 12 hours. Then we check the stones, change the abrasive and go to the 800 grit. another 12 hours we control the stones you see we have a lot of grinding dust and dirt and now we made a clean out change the abrasive to the 800 grit now we clean everything with fresh water when your stones are clean, clean your tumbler too. You've cleaned your tumbler. We can change to the next abrasive. <laughs> now we change the abrasive to the 800 grit silicon carbide. Okay. Now we fill up the stones. We add the 800 grit silicon carbide. Okay, let's check how the stones run. very good. We only had to add a small amount of water. Well, you see we don't need a lot of abrasive. Every stone got a thin film of water and abrasive. Now we let them run for 12 hours, for the next 12 hours. And after that, we check our stones. We look at the surface. We can change to the 1200 grit silicon carbide. Okay, I've closed it. Don't forget the drop of oil. We see in us in 12 hours.
Okay, after 12 hours we check our stones. the stone's got a very smooth surface that shows a really good result. I think we can clean it and go to the 1200 silicon carbide now. Let's clean the stones. stones again with fresh water. Okay, now we clean the stones with fresh water. At this point the stones got a very fine surface, a very smooth surface. We make it finer now with the 1200 grit silicon carbide. And after that, we can polish them. Don't forget to clean your tumbler, because we don't want any of the 800 abrasive in it. scratch I dry this up with an old towel. It is because we don't want to have any coarse or grit abrasive in it. After you've cleaned up your machine and your stones we can fill up our tumbler again. In this case it is the 1200 grit silicon carbide and we don't need a lot of this because when you use finer abrasives or grits you got many more particles than the coarser grits and very fast you get a thin film of abrasive or every film. I think that's enough. Let's check how these stones run. see we have enough abrasive but we have to add a little amount of water okay you see the stones running very good we check them after 12 hours, take a closer look at our surfaces. Okay. Okay, I'll be back in 12 hours. After the next 12 hours with the 1200 silicon carbide, we check our stones. It looks like we have a fine, smooth, glossy surface on our stones. Okay.
Okay, now we clean our stones. We clean the stones with fresh water. Our stones are clean. Here you can see one of the stones. And what we see is we get a fantastic view inside the stone now. We make some stones dry and take a closer look to the surface later. Now I have to clean the tumbler. Okay, our tumbler is clean. It is to avoid scratches. You have to clean everything of the tumbler. Also the washers and the ceilings and this area here. Everything must be 100% clean. This dark stuff here is burned in the plastic. Okay, now let's take a look at the stone. This stone is dry. We got a fine, a smooth and a glossy surface. We can take a look in the stone. You see some inclusions now and when your stones are looking like this, they are ready for polishing. Okay, now everything is cleaned up. And we can use the ceiling, the washer, a little bit of oil. Okay, now for the polishing I use these ceramic pellets. They give the stones a very, very good glossy surface. First I fill up a few of these pellets. Okay, now we fill in the stones. And I've added a few more pellets. We check how these stones run and fill up the rest of these pellets. What you see now is we have a good mix. For the first 12 hours we only add water. At the polishing process we use more water and I'll show you how many water I use now. Let the thumbnail run and add water. Heard it on the camera, the tumbling process is getting quieter when I add more water, so we get a smoother run. Now we let it run for 
12 hours and after that we come to the final polishing or the burnishing of the stones. stones in 12 hours. Okay, after 12 hours we check our stones. Okay, you see our stones are polished. The stone is dry now. But for the real wet looking surface I add an ingredient. It is soft soap. Okay, you see I add three spoons of soft soap. We call it Schmierseife in German. It's a green soap. Also you can use ivory soap. We have to add some water so we become a layer of foam because we have some black little dirt particles in our mix. And every little dirty particle sets on the foam and our stones are 100% clean. Let's mix it. Add some water now so we become this layer of foam and every dirt particle can set on the foam. The stones are still polished and we don't need a lot of movement. This is only for the super shiny glossy surface and all of the dirt particles. Okay, you see I cleaned the cover. After a few minutes of running we got this layer of foam and small black particles, dirt particles are on it. Later we will see more and more of these black dirty particles as the burnt in dirt from the pot. At this point we don't need a fast movement because our stones are polished. We only want these burnishing super glossy, high glossy surface. We let them run for about 12 hours, then we check the stones. Okay, now let's start it again to show you the slow movement of the stones. This is a very very slow movement but this is what gives us this wet looking surface we want. Okay, I can close it now. Okay, 12 hours later and we have a final result. And here you see all the black dirt on the layer of foam. Okay, let's check the stones. Make them dry. It is what we want. This is the super glossy finish we want on our stones. Stone is polished and it looks wet. We got a great result. Also a fantastic result on our stone. Very nice, very fine polish. But we take a closer look later. Let's clean the stones now.
clean the stones with fresh water. Only use slow movement for the cleaning to avoid scratches. It is easier for you when you fill up your stones in smaller, in smaller amounts to clean them. I use an old towel for the final sorting and drying of the stones. The flawless stones got a very, very bright shine and super glossy surface. So please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Looking forward to more projects like this. I hope you have some fun with me together. So please share, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Well, the stones are clean now. I've picked out two examples. We've got these wet looking super glossy surface on our stones. This is what we want. So you get a clear look inside of the wonderful inclusions. I love these vibration tumblers, so they are very fast. We only have six runs, 12 hours each, and we got a great result for our stones. Hope you like and enjoy this method. So please feel free to comment, like, subscribe to my channel and also please share my stuff that our great gemstone community grown. You see this wonderful reflecting inclusion? I like gemstones with inclusions like this or reflecting inclusions. Invisible, visible, invisible, visible, invisible, visible. Okay, hope we see us in the next video. Bye bye.